Hey guys, this is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. I am, um, this is a message, basically, this video, this reading kind of thing is for um, the Aquarius. Now, guys, I was trying to do your reading earlier. This is a you versus them. Um, and this is to do with um, your person, the person that you was dealing with. Um, but what it is, the reading that I done was disrupted okay um but what i'm compelled to do is to do you the reading sort of like explain to you what the cards are because i haven't taken the cards out all right but i'm just gonna have to go through what i found out with regards to this energy um because you need to kind of like it's, it's like you, you you do need to know all right and um somehow when i was in the middle of recording like 20 minutes in the blasted thing just cut out and i'm so fucking pissed anyway let's let's just get stuck in all right now the first card we got was the transformation card i did feel that you was very much in this energy of self analyzing yourself okay um and then i got this transformation card so that kind of like pretty much summed up what was going on with you okay now we also got um for the um enchanted map i've got the magical map shifter so this really explains to me that you were definitely in this energy of just really kind of like looking at your situation from a very um high perspective a very soulful perspective and it was the connection that you have with this person who is your partner um um and basically you and them are not on the same level and I do feel that this is about you, well, it turns out that this is definitely about you wanting to sort of like, you know, call it a day. But I'm just going to go into it. I've, I'm going to attach the ending of the reading um, that did come through successfully and you'll see what's going on, all right? But I do feel that you just really, really do need to know this Aquarius, all right? So the deck that um, I got for you was, um, you got the Page of Swords and you got the wheel of fortune so you know it was no surprise definitely on this vibe of you looking to end things with this situation but before you end things you're just kind of like going over like what was going on with you you know the day that you met this person you know is this the right thing to do how am i going to be you know financially and stuff like that but i do feel it's you that's actually more financially well off than this person of yours all right the next card I got was you, um, actually, let me just do it this way. I got the clarification for the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this was an indication to me from the Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune that, yeah, you just basically was just looking to be on your own. The next card I got was the Eight of Cups. So this, again, was saying to me that you're definitely wanting to walk away from the from people, places, and things that are not serving your highest purpose. But this is about the self-fulfillment that you've got going on within yourself. You're very much about this, um, the, the, you know, the, um, the self-development, personal development is your thing. But because of this transformation that you're going through, it, to me, it indicated that, that your person isn't ready to kind of like embark on this journey with you. And what I got was the Hermit card and the Magician so as i said you were definitely about manifesting your your life okay and trying to make it work for you i also got um the ten of cups the two of ones and the strength card major kind of the strength card all right so this is about you having to make this decision and overcoming all fears overcoming all forms of any kind of excuses that you know that you feel that this person is going to give you all right the next card i got was the page of wands now this indicated to me that this was actually your person okay this was the energy that your person was in they could be a fire sign but they are a young kind of energy and i feel that you was just somebody that just found this person a little bit too unbearable to be with i'm sorry it's what i've got here clarifying this was the queen of swords sorry the queen of wands sorry darlings the queen of wands so yeah older sign older energy um younger energy but i just feel that the two of you just did not mix and also it was probably to do with the fact that not just about the age because they could be the same age as you but it was just what was going on with them as a person individually okay 
Um, I did get the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And this was about you weighing up the pros and cons, being in this deliberation kind of energy to find out, well, is it worth it in me being on my own or should, do I still continue this relationship? But then underneath this, I got the Nine of Pentacles. So again, this is really clarifying to me that you were definitely looking to be on your own. And then underneath the bottom of the clarifying deck, I got the High Priestess. So this said to me, babes, you are definitely, you know what's going on. You intuitively know that you don't want nothing more to do with this person. Now, when I pulled now um, for your person, I got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. So there was about, um, you know, messages that was coming in, okay? But I felt that it was coming from yourself. But then it was clarified with the Five of Swords. So I do feel that there might be a little bit of crosswords between the two of you in the form of you being frustrated and just feeling no you can't manipulate me or this is going to be the response that they're going to give you back okay some form of manipulation and i don't think that's really going to sit well with you okay now what i got clarifying that was okay was the um the devil card major arcana of the devil now where it was with the with the father swords to me they said that this person you know, if you can look and see how the devil looks like it's got a straight jacket on, it's like they made you feel a bit crazy or you thought that there was a bit crazy at times. You know, their, their, their lifestyle or things that they would say. And because you're very analytical, you know, and it's all about this, um, the mind and everything like this and the other, they was intellectually um, less superior than you. And they bored you, okay? There was times when you wanted to be, you know, intellectually stimulated and, you know, they would rather sexually stimulate you, but that's not where you're coming from, okay? It's more to do with the fact of, like, after all of that, okay? But this person was too, you know. And then I got this um, Knight of Cups that was clarifying the Devil card. So to me, this felt like this would have, was a bit like, this energy just didn't feel that it was um, really sincere enough, obviously. But also it was a bit of like a little bit of possessive kind of energy as well. I didn't pick up on the possessiveness side. But now looking back on this card, it's as if like because of who you are, you're very resourceful, you're very responsible. It's like they're just, they're, it's like they're realising, oh my gosh, like this person isn't going to be fun to me anymore. Um, I also got the Ace of Pentacles. So right about then, they were looking for, um, you know, wanting to have, abundance with you and this and the other could have been like about a new beginning um and stuff like that but then i got the hermit card clarifying so i do feel that they feel that this is you actually looking upon this situation like thinking that is it worth it when i pulled um some more cards because i just wanted to know what was going on with this um hermit card i actually got major a kind of justice um the five of swords so the five of pentacles and i got the king of swords this is your energy you have been analyzing this over and over again and i do feel that this is a marriage that you guys were in but this is like kind of over okay because this feels like divorce and they are out on their air and i did feel um to myself that you know even though they're not really on your wavelength even though you think that they're a bit of an airhead in that they're not really that stupid because they could see what was going on and then i got also the nine of pentacles so to me they felt that this was going to be them pretty soon and in the bottom of the deck i got the um four of wands so this was about obviously wanting to have the stability and everything like that i didn't clarify the nine of pentacles because i mean there was no point in doing that but what I got was the Ten of Swords. So this was about putting an end to anything that was toxic. I think that this was you for a very long time trying your hardest to really get um, to that stage where you was, was just going to cut them off and just let them go. Because as I said, it just felt that you was not on this wavelength with them anymore. Now, I do have um, other um, oracle cards that I pulled, but they are in the next video um, towards the ending of this. But I just wanted to give you um, the gist of what was going on with these cards um, because I didn't want to sort of like do this reading, reading again. 
luckily I didn't put the cards away because this energy, this reading, you know, babes, you need to know what's going on with, you know, I feel that you just need a little bit of um, clarification, like, is this what I do, you know, and so forth like that. Um, but this um, reading, as I said, please take what resonates with you, you know, with this reading here, because it may not be happening to you at all which is fine hopefully that means that you're blessed and you haven't got no problems in your relationship or the fact that it has already happened or it's about to happen okay so this is where we got up to where you know things went a bit tits up so um guys i'm gonna stop it here and then just attach that video to this recording all right i'm so sorry my beautiful um aquarius people because i know that you like things done properly and my you know technology let me down because it's a blasted um what's its name isn't it mercury retrograde so guys i'm going to put you through now to the ending of your um reading for the you versus them for february 2020 and also please note as well that february time is your season as well so this is where you're going to be in your strongest energy you're not having anybody that's going to be messing you around babes and to be honest, I don't really blame you, darling, okay? And I wish you all the best. All right, darlings, see you later. Bye. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so this is definitely you in this energy of really wanting to step up. You're taking action. And I feel that what's going on here is that this person is a little bit, they're, they're younger than you, or they just have this mentality of being younger than you, all right? But what it is, is that you just need to make sure that you are pulling out all the stops to make sure that this is where you're aiming towards because if they can't vibe with you on this kind of level then you're going to be on your own straight up you're just going to be on your own and at the bottom of the deck you've got the um got the you've got the um you've got the high priestess you're not joking and i do see because this is um the number two card all right this is the number two card and this is also the two of pentacles but if you look at it as well it sort of like looks like 11 11 so you're definitely snapping up into your awakening and then underneath the two of pentacles i've got to show you this it's the nine of pentacles again so i do feel deep down inside babes you know where you're going and look look at that underneath the um the um the high priestess because you know that this is a burden it's burdening you it's getting your nerves they are really starting to get on your nerves darling all right let's see what's going on with your person i feel bloody nervous for them now but you know sometimes if they if if you've been trying to drop hints to them and if you've been trying to sort of like um get them to sort of like you know suggest certain things to them to, for them to do and you know they're like yeah all right, I'll do it. you know if they're too airheaded for you then really they can't blame nobody if you turn and say that you know you want something better than what they're giving you out of this relationship do you see what I'm saying? Because it doesn't seem to be working out for you on that kind of level, on that kind of vibe. Okay, so let's start pulling and see what's going on with this person. You know, let's see. So I feel that there is definitely wanting to have communication with you. I feel that they're expecting this kind of talk from you as well. All right, let's see. We'll, we'll find out what it is. Because communication is coming into them. I feel that this could be you wanting to talk about it. But I do, you've got the devil card. So you do find them toxic. You do find them toxic. And I do feel that you you feel to yourself that you are, you know, chained to them. You feel very chained to them. Okay? And I don't feel that you, well, I mean, you don't really like this energy. You don't like it at all because you do feel that this that you know sometimes i can act a little bit crazy because you've got like that straight jacket kind of thing going on and this is like what the fuck is you know what the fuck is going on with this person what's going on with them i feel you're just you are i feel that you're just gearing yourself up for this talk the ace of pentacles they would like to have a new beginning they would like to have something that is very solid i don't think this relationship is very old it's not old at all i feel that this is quite um a newish kind of energy right um but you i mean if they're trying to offer you something like this but they've got the devil energy attached i you know you're giving this vibe a wide birth and again the nine of pentacles so i you know it's as if like 
they don't it's like they it's like they don't mind being on their own that's what I said it just feels a bit too new whether you care for them or not I think they would I don't think they would really be surprised if they ended up being on their own okay some of them also want to have this security as well because of the ace of pentacles and you've got the nine of pentacles but the thing is hun you've got this devil card that's there and underneath the bottom of the deck you've got the four of wands so they, it seems as if they're looking for security it seems as if they're looking for security but i don't feel that what the, what they what they bring into the table is not really doing it for you all right let's pull some clarifications okay so what's going on with this eight of wands what's going on with this eight of wands because i feel this is where you are in that deliberation mode as well because they do seem to be quite nice you've got the five of swords so you're going to have a little bit of a conversation with them that is going to be a bit you know And also because you're expecting them to be manipulative as well because it's sitting right next to the devil energy the devil card as well devil why are you here for fuck's sake what's going on with you darling why are you here why are you in this person's spread because you're really pissing off the Aquarius energy what's going on with you yeah this feels like this is this energy is just mm. Because I'm sensing emotional black man as well. It's like they're going to try and want to sort of tie you in. Give you this kind of horse dead cow fat story. Basically, so what I mean by horse dead cow fat story is this kind of Jack and Ori story about, you know, oh, and, you know, and I've, you know, my life has been like this and my life has been like that. A proper victimization, really milking this, this kind of, you know, sort of sob story. And you don't like that you you see through it because remember you've got the high priestess and you've got the hermit card you're very intuitive darling you don't have time you could see them coming a mile off so you'd rather say to them keep your coin because you need it i don't really need that one what's going on with this ace of pentacles what is it any good what's going on with this because i don't think it's worth taking i don't think it's worth taking darling but as i said this is down to you this person's looking for security yeah they they're they definitely um they are looking for security they're looking for this but i right, let me just pull in a, another card but there's this feeling of separation between the two of you there's a feeling of separation because you both got the nine of pentacles and then you both got the nine uh, sorry the hermit card which is nine let's see what's going on please may i have another card please for the hermit what's going on well i'll tell you something now They've got you got the justice card well they've got the justice card you got the, they've got the five of cups sorry not the five of cups the five of pentacles but they've also got the king of swords so that's definitely you and i feel that what they see going on here is that they, like it, it's not really happening is it and i feel that they can they feel that this is you i do believe that you've been showing them signs of wanting to be on your own a bit too much as well not really saying anything not saying much to them and they can pick up on that vibe and think to themselves yeah it's over it's i can feel it's going to be over because this is going to be me nine of pentacles basically on the on their own feeling very left out in the cold as well darling right all right there might be a bit of an airhead but they're not that stupid do you know what i mean they've got a bit of intuition right and at the bottom of the deck we've got the ten of swords i think you're done I think it's safe to say, babes, that you're done with this conversation, this relationship, this connection, if it, it's done. They are not cutting it for you, and you want to now cut off this relationship, all right? Um, let's see what the Lover's Oracle card says. I don't, I mean, is it worth it me even do the Lover's Oracle? Do you know what I mean? Well, let's just focus on the self-love then. Let's see. Oh, my God, you wanted to come out. Backside. Oh, 
Look. Can you see it? It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. You see that? The first card that flipped. Oh, Aquarius. Oh. Babes, you've got to do what you feel is right for you. I'm telling you this now. You've got to do what you feel what feels right. Don't let nobody try and, you know, wrangle their way into your heartstrings and pull at your heartstrings and tell you so much horse dead cow fat stories about this, this and that other. And it could, half of it may not even be true, but because they're looking for security and your money to fund their lifestyle, it's like they'll think, oh yeah, he'll do because he's got money. Or they're just not in that, that that level of wanting to work. I'm gonna pull a romance angel. I don't even think it's worth it in pulling a romance angel. But it's here, let's just see what this says. Cause you might have somebody you know, coming in, I don't know. I feel, I, it's really sad because I do feel that you, you want love. And they do see you as being kind of close up and really cold to them. Do you know what I'm saying? With the king of swords there. But you're just doing what you know, you, you, you're you not allowing your heart to or your head. This situation does involve marriage. So I do feel for some of you guys, this is about you coming with the divorce. For some of you guys, you're, mar you're married to them. And you just wanted to figure out what the fuck how did i get here because you've also got um gold darlings you got the you got the king of swords you got the justice card the justice card and the king of swords like the king of swords is the minor arcana to the justice card this is divorce man if this involves marriage you're divorced it's over it's done do you know what i mean it's it's finito I think you're getting ready to just send them that Dear John letter. All right, let's look at what the angel answers have to say. You know, I am really, you know, but babes, you, you, I think you've already, you know within yourself, you know what you need to do. You know, and, and I feel that you both know this as well. That I think they've been around you long enough to know. I oh, want you want to come out here, are you? Um, sorry guys, I've just gone. You, you both know and this person knows how you stay as well, okay? And they kind of they kind of get the gist. They kind of know what's going on a year from now. So maybe things could be finished off and finalised a year from now. Um, let's see what this other card says. I'm a bit nervous. Recover, ah, oh, recovery. Babes, it's going to be all right. I feel that you are going to do the right thing, you know? Um, it's just this change that you're going through. Remember the transformation card? All right, this is what you're going through. And you know that this is, you know it's the right time to move on, don't you? Because you've got the high priestess, you've got the, um, you know, you've got, you've got the hermit card as well. You know it's time, you both do. All right, let's just pull for the, um, the love and light and just, let's just call it a day eh? all right just gonna i am compassionate and i enjoy being me um yeah this is definitely going to take a little bit of um because i do feel that you definitely like being by yourself to the you you want to be seen as a very authentic person um but you don't like being around somebody that's going to just make you feel different and not yourself because you do you accept yourself and if you have compassion if this person you know i feel that you're letting them go with 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 a lot of um what's the word like you've been very st strategical here very very diplomatic because i don't feel that it's going to make any it's not going to be wise to just sort of like break up on bad terms it's not going to be babes it's not all right but what i feel going on here is that you just need to really just kind of end things in a very diplomatic way very find the less painful way to break up finding the less painful way to break up and maybe this is what's going to be happening a year from now or maybe this has already happened so this is a year later say from last year all right because remember this reading is timeless darling okay so this could be where you are now in recovery mode and you're just trying to get your life back together and you enjoy being compassionate and you enjoy being me. This is part of your recovery. Okay. All right. 
um but you know you've already know that you know the answer and it's the you know it's it's done it's finished it's dead <sighs> this is what i've got for you air sign aquarius i really do hope that you're able to um you know if this hasn't already happened i do hope that you are able to find um, peace within this this journey of yours learn everything you can from it i mean i don't you don't need me to tell you about learning from it because you are a, a very highly intelligent person and you are going to learn from this because you love to analyze everything even what goes on in the day of a mouse you're going to want to know everything what goes on with them in their day that's just you But you are going to be amazing you're going to be fine and don't forget as well you've got if you could see like this um you know you've got the world there as well so it's like the world card so this is like you know really definitely closing off a cycle aquarius my beautiful darling my beautiful intelligent friend thank you so much for stopping by um this channel please do take um very good care of yourself from now on um, and I do feel that you are going to, you will meet somebody eventually that is on your wavelength. But I think right now you are about self-discovery, which is great. Recovery is part of your self-discovery. And there's nothing wrong with that, darling. There's nothing, no law that says that you have to be with somebody who you are not vibing with on a beautiful level. And you know this. And I think this is why, you know, you had to make that decision. As painful as it may have felt or you know deep down inside of you know as, as as it said deep down inside of your heart you know it's the right thing to do babes i wish you the very best of luck take care of yourselves thank you so much for stopping by my channel and also please you know do subscribe to the channel please give the video a thumbs up like and share and also don't forget i am on instagram take care for now guys um this is lorraine your host and your reader signing off take care bye